Hey everybody, it's Catherine here with another MyCom tutorial. Today I'm going to share some tips for recording quality audio in your videos. Okay, so audio is arguably the most important part of your video. People will tolerate bad video, they will not tolerate bad audio. So if you have any budget at all, I highly recommend you put it towards your audio because recording quality audio will make the production value of your videos skyrocket. So the key to recording great audio is have your mic as close to your subject as possible. The, a general rule of thumb is um, arms length away, internal mic okay. That really only applies to phones, but it rhymes so you know it's true. But if you're uh, recording a selfie video, um, you're holding it in your hand, then your internal mic is going to be fine. Um, for that, you don't really need anything else. You just need to make sure your hand isn't covering those speakers because I've done that before and it's always a bummer when you realize that later. But if, you, if you're recording anything that's farther away than an arm's length away, then you're gonna need a separate audio recorder and microphone. Um, even if you have your, a digital camera or a DSLR, the internal mics of those are not great. So you will want an external microphone on that camera. You can buy ones that will plug right in there and they can um, hook to the top of the camera. So. That's definitely something that you would want to look into if you are doing that. Um, what I'm doing right now is I have a lavalier microphone and I have it plugged into a separate audio audio recorder. Um, this mic this lavalier microphone actually also could plug into my phone if I wanted. Um, so that's a great thing. A lot of uh, lav mics these days you can get ones that will plug into your phone or into a laptop, and so that's always a great way to do it if you don't want to get a recorder. Um, the other option, the other great thing about a recorder though, um, is that you can, like if I didn't have the mic plugged into this, there are speakers on this already. So this serves as both a recorder and a microphone itself. Um, so I could have this plugged into, or I could have this just sitting in front of me and it would pick up my audio and, um, or I can use it, I can hold it if I'm like dubbing, a, like doing the, talking over a video that's like a different thing. I could do my voiceover track just by holding this in my hand. Another option would be to get a shotgun mic, which is um, one of those bar microphones. You can, uh, again, you can attach those to your uh, camera or you could um, plug it. You can also plug that into a handheld recorder and um, just like position it above you, like attach it to a pole or something. You could also use your phone itself as a microphone. If you're recording with the camera and your phone isn't doing anything, then put it to work. And um, you could tape that to a pole and have that, use that as your main um, audio recorder. Um, another thing is that you could use Apple earbuds as a lavalier microphone. Um, the microphone part is in this right here. So you could just set it on your self, tuck the earbud part in your collar or your shirt and then have the microphone sitting right there. So that would work as well. Um, I would not use AirPods as your microphone because if you've ever talked to anybody on, a, on the phone and they're using AirPods, you know that it's the worst, but that's because it's a Bluetooth connection. So your audio file would be being compressed over the um, Bluetooth bandwidth. So it's gonna be not great quality as it would be if you have a wired microphone. Just as long as you remember, keep the mic as close to your subject as possible, then you'll be groovy. That's audio.